Hey there everybody, it's Heidi Roop and Thomas Bosco and we're going to take you through the drill arch today and show you what it's like to drill an ice core with a deep ice sheet coring drill. So come along and join us. Off into the wild world of coring. Here we go! So here's the drill in the trench. Um, it's sitting vertically. I think the trench is 30 feet deep. That's right, Thomas. 30 feet deep. Here the core is coming out of that 30, feet deep, 30 foot deep hole. The actual sand itself for the drill is about 40 feet in length and has computers and the drill head and it actually enables us to get a lot of measurements about the borehole, but also, more importantly, to collect ice. And here's a piece of ice. What a fantastic piece of ice that is. What do you think, Thomas? Oh, it looks great to me. Oh, and our drillers. Look at those drillers go. Here we are. We're going to move the ice across the room and push it to the hole, uh, through a hole in the wall uh, where Thomas and I get to uh, handle the core. But first of all, I think this is Thomas's favorite part, so I'll let him explain. Oh, so you guys got to check out the uh, high-tech piece of equipment the drillers have for pushing the car. Here it goes. Make sure you watch Patrick, the one in the red jacket. He's having a lot of fun. So now the core is actually through the wall. Here it is. And now we have to get to work. It's about negative 25 degrees Celsius on that, this side of the arch, so we do a lot to try to stay warm. Uh, I only wish we could move this fast. What are we doing right now, Thomas? So we're measuring the diameter, the length, and the temperature of the ice core after we receive it. So then we log it in the database and push it to the other side, where we actually make more marks. It takes us about 45 minutes to an hour to log one 3 meter length of ice. Most of the time we spend on this side, yeah, we chat a bit, but we also put things in the database, we discuss how to make sure to best document the core, and then we make marks that indicate an actual meter of length, so we can later cut it. You'll see in just a minute. I get to actually cut it. I really like power tools. Not really, but I'm learning to love them. Here's Thomas typing pretty fast. He's making sure we document everything about this piece of ice in the database. And then Heidi takes over and starts to cut it, cut it into one meter pieces. Then we let the uh, one meter pieces dry in these drying booths for about 48 hours. Look how clear the ice is after it's dried. That's pretty incredible. Now we actually pack those beautifully clear pieces of ice into core tubes and then into insulated boxes with snow and they'll sit in the basement until next year when they'll get shipped back to the United States. I think we've gone through about 1,500 meters of ice this year. That sounds about right. How many boxes would that be though? I think that's about 400 boxes. Wow, that's a lot. That is a lot. And considering we put four meters of ice in each one of those boxes, we've handled quite a bit of ice this season. It's too bad we really can't pack this fast. That would be nice. Imagine, we would have to hardly work at all during the day. So these are one of the boxes full of core. Then the uh, drillers uh, reassemble the drill, tip it back up, and send it right back down the borehole. And there it goes back down. In about two and a half, three hours, we'll have more core. And we'll do it all again, and again, and again. 